Hello everyone, welcome to the rcprinter.com YouTube channel. I'm your host Jordan Visco. Today we're going to play around with the OpenRC F1 car and we're going to test a few of the different motors that Daniel Murray has recommended uh, for this build. Uh, initially with this build what I put in it was this uh, Surpass Hobby brushless kit. You can see the motor back there and this is a little speed controller. Um, and it does a good job. It's quite quick. Um, the fan itself is a little bit big for this case and it makes it a little bit hard to close. You can get it in there. I find if I kind of shove it more towards the back, it gets in there pretty good. Obviously having a fan in there is going to reduce the heat a bit, uh, but it is quite noisy. And I'm wondering if we can just use something like this instead. And this was the other motor that Daniel Nare recommended, which is a Surpass Hobby um, brush kit and it just looks like that there. So this is a 35 turn motor, um, which is the one that he recommends for this model. The brushless one in there is a 4,370 kilovolt um, motor. You can also get a 3,300 kilovolt motor would be another one that he recommends. I went for the 4,370 just cause uh, I thought it would be a little bit faster. Um, so we'll see, we'll put it to the test and we'll see which one works the best. So we're first gonna do a little demo with this guy the way it is right now, and then we'll throw this one in and we'll see if it's worth paying a little bit extra money for the brushless or if the brush motor uh, does just fine. Also, I should mention we're going to run a 2S LiPo battery in here and we're going to run the same battery on uh, both the brush setup and the brushless setup. So you can run them on 3S LiPo, um, but I don't think it's required just based on the initial testing I remember I did with this. It was pretty quick already. So we'll see how that goes. There's not a ton of space in there for a big battery anyways. so. Um, we'll stick with the 2S for now and we're going to turn it on just so you can see what it sounds like. So you can see those brushless kits um, do produce quite a bit of noise. So let's get the lid on and we'll get it outside. Okay, now let's see how it does in a straight line. Ooh. Oh man. All right, take two. Okay, we're back inside now from our test run, and as you can see, that motor had way more than enough power to get this thing going. Um, I can peel out all over the place. It's really hard to control. Um, these are actually the non-3D printed tires. These are rubber tires I got off Amazon, and they make it a lot more grippy, but even still, the way that it is, it's, uh, it's super hard to control. There's uh, no differential in the rear. Um, which is another contributing factor. So uh, yeah, let's tear it open here and see what the temperature's like. This is going to be super unscientific. But yeah, it's pretty cool in there. The battery hasn't got hot. The speed controller is totally fine. And the motor's not hot at all. So the brushless setup is doing a, a great job um, keeping the motor or keeping the uh, the whole unit cool. So now we're going to do a little switcheroo and we're going to throw in that motor right there and uh, see how it compares.
Alrighty then, there we go. The conversion is complete. You can see we have the new 35 turn non brushless motor there at the back uh, with the new speed controller that does not have a fan on it. It is on right now and you can hear nothing. Um, so love that quietness. And it still feels like it's going to have a ton of power. Uh, but let's bring it outside and see how she performs. All right, let's see how fast it goes in a straight line. Pretty good. All right, back inside again. You can see it's still on. We've had it running for probably five or 10 minutes. And so we're gonna open it up and see what the heat's like inside. Battery's cold. Speed controller. I mean, it's a little tiny bit warm, but it's pretty, pretty good. The motor itself, I don't feel any heat at all. So there you go, whether you go with the brushless setup here or you go with a cheaper brushed setup, uh, I don't think it really matters too much with this machine for the production of heat and I don't see you uh, melting any of the plastics, um, maybe unless you're using it for an extremely long period of time. So in conclusion, in my opinion, if you're trying to choose a motor for your 3D printed OpenRC F1 car, uh, I think you should go for the slightly cheaper brushed version, uh, 35 turn motor that uh, Daniel Nuray recommends. Um, it's got all the power that you need for a machine like this. You don't need the you know extra step up that brushless is gonna get you. Uh, it's not gonna overheat the plastic in there uh, from what I can tell so far. And it's a lot quieter and it seems to be easier to control as well, just I think because there is slightly less power than you're getting out of that brushless setup. So um, if you're looking for one, you can find them on rcprinter.com along with a series of different kits. We have kits for screws, we have kits for screws and bearings, and we also have kits for screws, bearings, and servos, and you can always add um, a 35T brushed motor to your order there as well. Uh, you can also find them online at many different places, aliexpress.com, you can find them at Amazon, you can find them at Banggood uh, if you're willing to wait a little bit longer for shipping. Thank you very much for watching this comparison. I uh, hope you found it useful. If so, please let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time on rcprinter.com.